everyone's dreaming. Oh, good morning! W what? What's with everyone's clothes? <laughs> so, how do we look? <laughs> we changed into summer clothes. Although we didn't come here to have fun, we don't want to miss out on a beautiful summer day by the sea. Uh, this doesn't look weird, does it? <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Really? <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Learning how big sister and not even realizing it? Barbara's drunk on summer already. There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. All these accessories, too. Definitely Lisa's handiwork. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. Everyone, come over here. That's Clee's voice. I saw something weird. Huh? What's going on? What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. Strange devices that just appear overnight? Something doesn't add up. Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Right. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. B but we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. <sighs> Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. Once you are ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. Uh, uh, not at all. This is... just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. Hmm, I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Doloko, and... Myself! Dodo King must have placed those things in the ocean. He's a bad guy, but I will bravely face him and do my best for Dodoko. Miss Honorary Knight, thank you for helping me. <sighs> what could those buoys possibly mean? These islands are isolated from the outside world, like a secret domain crafted by nature itself. We were guided here by the letter, and with the assistance of Venti and Devalin, everything seems a bit too serendipitous. I'm a little concerned, but I'm here to protect you all, so please don't worry. Come what may, I will face it head on. Hmm? Is there anything I can do? Oh, I just want to say that the ocean here is beautiful. Sea and sun. Oh, a summer dream come true. I really want to have a seaside performance. It would be amazing. I just know it. Have you finished your preparations? Great. <sighs> then let's head to the boat.
stronger? Hurry, back to shore. Bunch of islands. Uh, what's going on here? This part of the ocean is way too mysterious. Oh, this whole stretch of land just rose out of the water. <laughs> Dodo King, Dodo King, I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> Looks like Cree's as energetic as ever. Before the ground started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. Something like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the power of the Animo Archon Barbados? Hmm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. It's incredible no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms? <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is no amateur. Aww. There goes the holiday mood. Hmm. Well, either way, I will do my best to remain vigilant. Wow. Master Jean's so cool when she's determined. Thank you for your understanding. He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes! Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Is that... a platform in the middle of the ocean? Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard.
Everyone, please be careful. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is that a really tall person? It resembles a human, but something's not quite right. Dodo King, I see you! You can, um, ar ar arbo arbitrate! Right! You can arbitrate Klee! Uh, what is this kid saying? She obviously doesn't understand what that word means. Hey, Dodo King! Why are you ignoring me? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? Then I'm sorry. Huh? And now she's apologizing? Oh, didn't see that coming. Hello, Dodo King? It looks like they're not interested in Klee at all. It's some kind of humanoid machine. No response. It must be damaged. Oh, do you recognize it? No, I can only guess. It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Inazuma? But isn't that really far away? It would appear so. This area of the sea is independent and does not border any country, so it certainly seems out of place here. But given Inazuma's current situation, how could something like this occur? An abandoned machine? Weird. Did someone bring it here? Oh no, Dodo King isn't moving anymore. Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. Right, right! The Dodo King is probably asleep. He was waiting so patiently for you, and then... Ah! Nap time. Let's go with Klee to play elsewhere and come back once Dodo King wakes up. Really? Of course. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Huh. Is that right? I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. And there she goes! Again! Oh, she's got a lot of spirit. Klee, wait for us! <laughs> Honorary Knight, look here! Look at these stacked up stones and small flowers. It feels like a memorial for someone. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Hmm. But the only other thing around here is that machine in Inazuman clothing. Oh. Could the memorial be for the machine? Uh, perhaps it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization it was. <sighs> and up to now, we still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. Klee is too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Honestly speaking, I thought that letter was only a prank at first. That's what we thought! I suspected as much too, but who would send a prank letter to a child? A letter that guides us to activate mechanisms on a deserted archipelago. It's bizarre. It makes me wonder whether this isn't some kind of trap long in the making. We must keep our guard up. Miss Barbara? Klee, what's wrong? Do you think that Dodo King doesn't want to see Klee? Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Klee? Dodoko loves me, and and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. That's why Dodo King doesn't want to see us. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. <laughs> hey, Klee, do you know what this is? <gasps> it's a heart pasta. I heard my big si uh, Master Jean say that Klee always wanted to play Harpastum, right? Yeah, Klee was just thinking about Ludi Harpastum. I made this Harpastum especially for you. Now, every day can be Ludi Harpastum. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 
So keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Ko stay together. Okay. Yeah. Leave it to us, Klee. This Dodo jerk can't hide forever. Even if it takes a thousand years and a thousand searches. Uh, we'll get it, but until then, let's have a good look around the area.